Marty, now that the main <laughs> characters in last weekend's brawl have had a week to think about it, what are they saying about what went down in Texas? Well, Sarah, good morning. The main characters are about the only people that aren't talking about this right now. Brad Keselowski did take to Twitter and say he can't understand why we always have to uh, uh, assert specific blame in a racing wreck. How come it just can't be two drivers going for the same piece of real estate and it not working out? Jeff Gordon hasn't said anything. Everybody else is talking. Certainly it's been the talking point this week in the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series uh, among the fan base. Now, Denny Hamlin and Daryl Waltrip, I had an opportunity to speak with both of them this week, and they have both lived what Brad Keselowski is living right now, that being public, public enemy number one in the sport. Hamlin said, look, when you drive like Brad Keselowski's driving right now, you have to live in your mirror a lot, and that's a really hard way to win a championship. Again, Hamlin's lived it before. He has matured so much as a driver, and he said Keselowski needs to do the same thing. Now, Darrell Waltrip's a Hall of Famer. Waltrip said earlier this week on the Marty and McGee podcast, that's my podcast with Ryan McGee uh, on iTunes, he told us, look, you have to get through this, but you can't back down at the same time. He did say this, though. If the left side of your car is torn up, that means you're in the way. If the right side of your car is torn up, you're passing people. That's a thinly veiled way for Walter to say Keselowski did nothing wrong, Sarah. All right, everyone has an opinion, but we really are seeing a level of passion and emotion unlike anything we've seen for a long time on these tracks. Why do you think that is? We absolutely are, and it is a direct derivative of this new championship format that has the knockout scenarios after every three races. I've never seen this much frustration, this much pressure in my career. I've been out here 17 years, and the drivers are speaking to that each time we speak with them, too. Look at Jeff Gordon last weekend. Gordon is one caution away from running away with that race at Texas and punching a guaranteed ticket to Miami next weekend to have an opportunity to win a championship. As it happened, Clint Boyer wrecked. The caution flies. Jimmy Johnson gets the restart. Gordon ends up wrecked, and the fight happens. And that is all because of this. Uh, championship format and while it has ratcheted up the pressure for these drivers NASCAR is the big winner here because this is exactly what they wanted when they instituted this format in a world that has professional football and college football the World Series just ended the NBA starting how do we remain relevant in the world of sports with all of that going on this is how